Hi, welcome to Data Engineering and today we are going to discuss about partition in Hive. Before getting into this video, I have shared a playlist link in the description box of this video. The playlist name is Big Data Course. Okay, so if you want to find all the complete videos from the first to last, you can make use of that playlist and I'll be keep on adding videos to that playlist. Okay, let's get into the topic. So here uh, partition is very important concept in any databases you go and query engines like Hive. Okay, so partition is important topic which comes under performance optimization. You will not see a table without partition in real time. Okay, in, in, in the real projects, you will not see a table without partition. Every table will be with partitioned only. So before getting into partition, I will, in a layman term, I will try to explain what actually the partition is doing. So if you take in your laptop, you have partitions, right? You used to do a partition for your hard disk like uh, C colon, D colon, E drive. F drive. So you will you you are doing a partition C drive D drive E drive and why you are doing that because I will place all my personal folders in D, uh, D drive and I will place all my work related profiles in E drive. So whenever I want to search I, I will come to know okay D drive is where my personal folder is I will directly open that folder and I will fetch movies or songs whatever it is. But imagine you have only one drive and within one folder you placed all the files and it will take time for you to search. Yes, that is what the partition is also. You are partitioning the data so that whenever you do some queries, you write some queries, so easily it will fetch the data only from that partition instead of reading the full table. Okay, so I, I will show you in the diagrammatic representation. So I have a table which has three columns, serial number, name and then city. Okay, so here serial number one and the name is Gautam and city is Chennai so I'm going to use the city names belongs to India okay so this is a city actually Chennai now imagine you you are writing all these records like you get 1 million records to the table you are just writing everything to a single box imagine this is a box to which you are writing everything to one box where you will get like first record second record third fourth etc so you have Chennai record and Delhi record and then again you have uh, Mumbai and Chennai Something like that. You have some records like this. So now imagine I'm, I'm going to do a query here. Select star from uh, table where city equal to Chennai. Okay. City equal to Chennai. Now what happens? Uh, my query goes here. It will try to read record from first record. So first record, yes, Chennai is there. Then it will read the second record. No, it's not Chennai. Third record, no, it's not Chennai. Fourth record, yes, it is Chennai. Now if you see this query have to read only Chennai record, but still it is reading two more records, which is not belongs to this condition. But even though it's not belongs to the condition, it still reads it. That means without a partition, whenever you do some read or join some queries, you are performing some transmission, it will do a full scan. That is a full table read record by record. So if you do the same in real time without partition, you are doing a join on a table, then it will take even you wait for two to three days, it won't complete. It will still running because it is doing a full scan. That is the need of partition. Now imagine I'm creating partitions here. One partition for Chennai, one partition for Delhi, one partition for Mumbai, one partition for some other uh, places. Okay, so Calcutta, something like this. Now when I insert a data, if it is a Chennai record, I insert all the records, Chennai records to Chennai partition. If it is belongs to Mumbai, I will insert all the records to Mumbai. Now when I run a query, this query will hit this partition only. It will ignore these three partitions. So it, it, it will not read these three partition at all. So that means you are having the partition pruning is happening. It reads only the requested or needed partition and it will ignore the remaining so that your time will get reduced a lot and your performance will get increased. Now you have two types of partitions in Hive. One is called static partition. One is dynamic partition. So in static partition, while inserting a record, you have to say this record should get stored in which partition. You have to say the partition name. For example, I have to say partition, place this in Chennai partition, place this in Mumbai partition. I have to say. But if it is a dynamic partition, you don't want to say automatically I will take care of it internally. So I will tell you the difference when I'm showing you the practical stuff. Now let's get into the practical. By default, I will sit in sit as static partition so that is by default so you can enable the dynamic partition i will show you how to do that now so before you get into the hive like you need to start your hadoop so installing hadoop and installation of hive videos are there in my playlist you can find it so here you need to install hadoop first and then you have to start the hadoop service and then you have to start hive 
so to start hive like you can you can use a command you can change your directory to hive and then you have to give bin slash hive so it will enter into hive shell okay so it's already running so i'll just ignore this okay so this is my hive shell so first you have to create i'm i'm, I'm going to show you step by step i am going to create a non partition table first so this is a non partition table so this table has three columns and uh, and i am going to insert a record and i will show you my input record this is my input record i am going to store this input record in this table i am going to load that input record to this table and since my input data set has delimited with comma i have to mention this and line terminated by new line character so i have to say this if i am not saying this then even after the load the load will be successful but when you do a select query you will see null values only okay so let me create this table so why you are creating a non partition table since the video is all about partition so you may get a question i will explain you that so first i will create a non partition table okay so table name is already there let me drop this table okay so i have dropped it now again i will try to copy this okay so table is created now i am going to load the data so this data is in my local system when i say local it is in my linux so here if you see this is a load command to load the data so since my data is in local i am going to use the word local uh, so if it is in hdfs then you can remove this local so if you give load data in path then this command will load the hdfs data to hive table if it is local then you can you can use this keyword local okay so local then the complete path you have to give so home slash so previously it was my hdfs path now my data is in local so i have to give the complete path of my local so local big is my username yes now i'm going to run this so this will load my data which is in my local file system this command will load the data to hive okay so okay sorry my username is test it is not big let me change it my username is test so home slash username i have to give because my data is stored in home okay i got it so data.txt is my file name okay fine so now it started loading it's completed select star select star from the table name okay so if you see the 10 records got loaded now we are going to get into static partition so while creating a static partition uh, like the table structure the syntax is create table user data i have two columns serial number and username but you can ask me in in data set you showed three columns yes so the last column city is my partition column so i i will be giving that here so you cannot give in both the places so inside create table you have to give only first two column and the partition column you have to give under partitioned by this is a syntax which make your table as a partition table so let me run this okay so the table is created now now i will tell you why i created a non partition table first okay so for the for the partition table you cannot insert data into a partition table via load command load data in path you can't do that so you can only insert a data to a partition table with insert into or insert overwrite then only the map reduce will get trigger only when the map reduce get trigger the partition will be get the data will be get placed in a correct partitions else it won't load in that way so that's why i created a non partition table and loaded a data from that non partition table i am going to do a insert to this partition table so that is the query i can show you here so in this query if you see insert into user data is the partition table and then you have to give a keyword partition and you have to say city is the your partition column and you have to give the value so now you are saying this data what i'm going to insert should get placed in chennai partition so you you have to say that now there is this is a query select serial number username from user data no partition is the first table that which we created with var condition city equal to chennai so whatever the output that you get for this select query 
will be get loaded into the table user data under the partition Chennai. This is what going to happen. And one more thing, in the select query, you should give only two column names because the city column you have already given in the partition. So you should not give here. Now I am going to run this. So before I run this query, I will show you the table structure in HDFS because that is also very important. In interviews, you will get a question like how internally the table structure looks like. So by default, I will store all the tables in HDFS under user high warehouse path only. So while creating a table, you can specify the location. If you are not specifying the location, then automatically high will get stored in HDFS under this location, user hive varrows. Enter. So it will list all the tables, whatever you created in hive in HDFS. So what is our table name is user data. So user underscore data. Now the table is empty. We haven't triggered that insert query yet. So now the table is completely empty. Now I am going to trigger the, see you can see it's an empty. Now I am going to trigger the insert. Let's trigger the insert here. So here what I'm planning to do, I'm loading all my Chennai records to the table user data with a partition city equal to Chennai. Now after this insert get complete in HDFS, you will see a partition name Chennai equal to city. So within that your data will be get stored. So now it's running. Let's wait for the command to get execute okay so if you see the data has got inserted so let me query this table first select star from so you you can see the record the Chennai records only got loaded but it's very important to check in the HDFS also so now I'll just trigger this ls command. So I'm just showing you all these from HDFS, not from your local file system. That is very, very important. And you can see inside user data, a partition got created as city equal to Chennai. If you want to query this, yes, you can query this as well. It means if you want to list the files inside this partition, you can do that. So it will be uh, like 000. The file will be starts with 000. Sorry, I made some spelling mistake. Yes. So that is the partition files will be like this only 0000, 000, 000, 000 underscore 0. It will be like this. Okay. So back to your table. So uh, so how to check whether the partition got created is uh, like only through HDFS? No. Even in the query you can check. Show partitions. Show partitions table name user underscore data. Okay. So if you see, it shows city equal to Chennai. Okay, let me clear my screen. I will re-trigger the command again. So show partition and the table name. So if it is a partition to table, it will show you the partition details here. Fine, now we are going for dynamic partition. So in dynamic partition, the table creation syntax is same. There is no change you can see here. It's the same uh, table creation syntax and everything but by default as i told you hive will not support creating uh, uh, sorry inserting a dynamic partition records means you cannot insert a data into a dynamic partition way by default hive disables it to enable that you have to execute this set property okay so without setting the set property if you try to run the insert command which i have given below it will throw you an error stating that please set this property okay so now i am going to execute the set property here yes that's it now back let's create the table first it's the same structure like what i showed you above yes it is created now if you see the insert query the insert query what you have in the dynamic is different from static so in the insert query if you see uh, after the table name partition and i'm just giving only city i'm not giving the value but in static partition you have to give the value and then i'm giving the select query the same select query but there is one change i'm including the third column here city in the static partition you cannot include the column which you have mentioned in the partition Okay, but here it's not like that. You have to mention because we are not mentioning the value inside the partition method. Now the same query uh, in the condition you are giving Chennai so that if you see in the static part insert, you have to be very careful because sometimes people used to change the city name in the where condition. For example, I'm changing the city to Delhi, but you have to change here also to Delhi. So if you change only in the where condition as Delhi, but then you are not share uh, changing the value in the partition then the delhi records will be get stored under chennai partition so that is a very important thing you have to always consider in the insert query for static partition but here we don't have a problem only change the condition high will take care of 
creating the partition for the new entry or if it is already there it will take care of placing your record to the exact partition so by default means uh, in general in real time mostly we will use dynamic partition but that's also again based on the use case but mostly people will go for dynamic partition so let me create this I means let me insert the record so again a map ready job will get execute and uh, let's go back to hdfs and let's do an ls so here now the ls is a different table right user data underscore dynamic it's dynamic okay so now again same like the folder structure will not be different between the static and dynamic it will be same now again you will see city equal to chennai only so you will be getting dot hive staging because the map ready jobs the insert is still in process that's why you are getting it so if here, here the map ready job got completed you will not see that hive staging directory actually okay so my record got inserted i will show you i will re-trigger the ls command so you will see same like city equal to chennai similar to the static one see you, you can see here now back to uh, hive shell let me select this table so user data dynamic let me copy it select star from yes so you can see only chennai record got stored now again in the insert query you can change this to delhi or mumbai so now again uh, you will you will be seeing a new partition getting created in the hdfs as city equal to mumbai and only mumbai records will be get stored and in insert query i have not given any value to the partition column but in hdfs the partition will be created correctly if you see uh, now we have only chennai right now again i do an ls now you will see two partitions one is chennai one is mumbai so the insert is still in process okay it's completed now so let me uh, do an ls so now you will be seeing two uh, partitions see city chennai and city mumbai yes so as i told you folder structure is also very important in interview people will ask you the folder structure informations and we have two more topics like continuity with the partition is there is one more called sub partitions and there is one more topic called buckets so these two you will see in the upcoming video please stay touch with my playlist and please do subscribe my channel so that you will be getting the updates and also in real time when you explain the partitions in your table right you have mostly in the real time we do partitions with timestamp we convert the timestamp to year month date and then we create a partition as year and then sub partition month sub partition date okay so it's like a folder year folder within year folder we will have 12 months and within each folder each month folder we will have 31 days files so that that is how in real time it will be so in the real time when you explain you can explain like that but this is since a, a kind of an example i want to show you i'll just went with the city column as a partition column but in real time you have to go with timestamp so sub partition and bucket i will make it in my upcoming video and thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel and please forward this to your friends and colleagues and please do share this in your linkedin that's a favor that you are doing for me it's my request thanks for watching